Um, it's Adam Elliott here. I'm going to make you a delicious and nutritious green smoothie. And now let's go check out what the ingredients are. I'll blend them all together and I'll taste it. I'm actually going to do something a little bit different today. I'm going to add a little bit of miso to my green smoothie. And you might think, well, miso, how's that going to taste good? But I'm not going to add very much, just a little bit, like a half a teaspoon. And that will add a little bit of saltiness. It will add some probiotics and increase the alkalinity of it. I didn't know, I recently just found out that miso is actually very alkaline. And so it's got tons of great health benefits. So here we go. This is what we have. I have uh, two bananas. Now, these bananas are not quite uh, ripe enough for me, but um, I still, I gotta have my green smoothie, oh, so. Uh, they're just almost starting to show spots. I would like them, you know, like two days from then. So I prefer green smoothies to be with very well spotted bananas because that means that all the glucose has, has matured in them and they're a lot sweeter and a lot healthier. So on this plate we have two bananas. We have a kiwi. I've just cut the top and bottom off of that. Uh, delicious. Add kiwi to your smoothies, man. It's Kiwis are a nutritional powerhouse. Tons of antioxidants. Tons of vitamins. Nutrients. Minerals. Tons and tons of healthy good stuff. These babies, prunes, i got about 10 prunes I'm going to put in there. These are crazy high in antioxidants. They're not quite as high as like goji berries or something like that, but they're really high. They're like 5,700 on the ORAC scale um, for 100 grams. It's huge. And bananas, you're going to get some calories there. You're going to get some potassium and some other minerals and some other good nutrients. Um, like I said, this is all I'm going to use for the miso. It's not very much at all. And... That's what I'm using for the spinach. And believe it or not, I would actually use a little bit more than that normally. Because um, you got to get those greens in there, baby. And the other thing I'm going to put in there, of course, uh, a cup of water and some lime juice. Lime juice makes green smoothies taste incredible. I'm telling you. And I'm also going to put a little bit of coconut milk. This stuff, this silk coconut milk is so delicious, man. So there you go. That's what I got for ingredients, and I'll come back with it all blended up, and I'll taste it for you. All right, here we go. Here's my green smoothie. Uh, I just wanted to tell you one more thing I did put in it um, is spirulina, and that's why my green smoothie is so dark and green on top of the uh, tons of spinach I put it. And spirulina has tons and tons of health benefits, super high in minerals, um, super alkaline, and it has some great antiviral properties. Um, really good for your thyroid because it has lots of iodine in it. So there you go. Um, here's my green smoothie. Look at that. Super dark and green. And I'm going to try it out. I've never done this. I've never added miso into it before. And uh, I didn't add the miso. So I'm going to re-blend this and show you. <laughs> okay, so I added the uh, miso in and uh, blended it. And I've, I'm guilty I already actually tasted it. <laughs> I added a little bit more lime juice. I added about two real big squirts of the lime juice. Um, in my opinion, you really can't go bad with, uh, go wrong with lime. It just adds so much flavor to everything, and it's alkaline. Lots of enzymes, also really, really good for you. So I'm gonna try it on film for you. It's already really good. I already know so. That's really, really good. It has a, a real prune taste because I did put a lot of prunes in there. It's got the, the tang from the lime a little bit. And it's really well balanced. It's a really well balanced taste. Uh, the coconut milk really creams it up as well as, as the prunes. I really blended it really well this time. Um, and so with your green smoothie, there's, there's so many possibilities. There's so many things you can add. And I'm going to keep making green smoothie videos for you. This is a really, really good one. I think the miso really... Um, added a subtle, like I can't even taste the saltiness, but for some reason I just know it's there. And uh, it's, it's added almost a, a it's just added a, a real nice creaminess to it with the coconut milk and, um, and those prunes. So hope you enjoy this. Try it out. Um, try out that exact recipe. I use quite a bit of spirulina. Um, and if you use too much spirulina, um, you can get a bit of a seaweed taste. But because I use the coconut milk and the lime juice and the miso and the prunes, um, it really masked that. I used a lot. I actually dumped a ton in. And uh, it's really, really, really good for you. So 
try it out. Cheers to your health. Cheers to you. I love you. Have a good day. And uh, let me know how you like this uh, recipe below in the comments. Peace.